guys welcome to the channel in this video I'm going to show you how to read data from a database by using Python script and then finally integrating our database to Splunk so guys what we are going to do is to uh, write a script which will write the entire database data to a particular file and that particular file will be monitored by Splunk so let's start writing the Python script so first I am just um, importing certain uh, required modules the uh, major one is PyMySQL you need to pip it so these are the basic things like OSS which we require time and all uh, okay so let's connect to the database so the thing over here is localhost is the IP or the name of the system root is the username and then a password and then the database you want to connect then I have created a cursor with db dot cursor function and let's uh, my table is employee so select star from employee now try cursor dot execute SQL so once the command is executed results are stored by fetch on and then I create a content with the um, empty string so let's run a loop so in my database there is first name second name age sex income and in content I am going to do content plus is equal to all the rows so the content will be keeping all the things which are required hence once done the um, uh, file will be opened and it will be written as you can see in content I have uh, put in slash n to create a new line finally we close the file and if there is any error to connect to the database an error will be pushed and thus we close the database also so let's see if our script is working or not so um, I'll do my SQL your root p password now my uh, database was movies so select star from employees you can see for there are four kind of entries which are already present now let's get data right and we can see in data write.txt there is nothing right now so let's go to our uh, the place where our python script is present and run the script so i have this python 3 and database underscore red dot py is the python script which we'll be doing so guys you need to note one thing for the script i have used is different and only in such a way that there is no print output and in this one there is a print output just to show you that the script was working let's go to opt and do the data uh, data write cat we can see the new and uh, it is able to write into the file so right now wait we have tested that our python script is capable to write uh, outputs to the file let's go to splunk and start uploading uh, monitoring the data the file actually so let's browse it's an opt data write.txt next uh, let's break the events as per the um, rows so I'll simply do should let merge is equal to false in Splunk so in Splunk we have set the source type and uh, give any random kind of source type or if you want you can use any other I'm just writing anything now let's give an index to the Splunk uh, so the database data will be then monitored by this particular file and this particular file will be monitored by Splunk so once done we submit it and we start searching you can see that for there are four uh, events which are basically my rows from a DB so let's do one thing uh, let's go to our database and uh, insert a particular entry and see if the uh, Splunk is able to take that or not so let me type the name as um, happy so happy 
and last name as Singh. Let's change the age to 24. Let's decrease his salary and enter. So as we can see that enter uh, row has been affected. Now let's go to our Python script and uh, run that particular Python script. Once run that Python script takes the data, writes it into the file and thus if we search over here in Splunk, so we can see happy sync 24m and salary is present. That's how you can manage your entire database into Splunk. You don't uh, sometimes you don't want to use DB Connect an entire app for that. You can just uh, create a cron schedule for this particular Python uh, file and so that it runs accordingly. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do support.